this item. I bought this in a charity shop, and it was three euros. It's a LOL surprise doll playset. These doors slide open on both sides like that now it's missing a door here but for three euros happy enough you can see it actually works in scale quite well there's a marvel legend all right that's about right but even i think it'll work even with mcfarlane figures for photography or posing I mean, it's not quite right with the mcfarlane figures but it's close enough you make it work uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool piece. Now, as I said, it was miss, it's missing this door here, and it was missing this door. Uh, but it has this cool feature. If I can just get it to where this thing slides across like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, if I turn it around... This side is just plain as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I, I covered the windows with some tape. Okay. And there's um, some kind of um, doors and stuff here on the top. Let's see. I'll pop them out. And I'm going to spray it with some plastic primer. And then I'm going to try and paint it as a diorama piece. So I figured I'd do a pre-look at it now. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. There we have it. So this is it primed. So like I said, it was a spray primer. Uh, so it took about... It took two coats. I'll be just under an entire can to do it, but it's quite large. As you can see, like I was saying, I, I, I took these off, spray painted them underneath. That's the cardboard. I had that on there again, just like when I covered the windows, I put a piece of cardboard there just to stop the spray paint going inside. I don't really know what I'm going to do with the inside yet, but I'll do the outside first, but there's the back of it. So, as you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good as it is grey, but I am going to paint it, and I'm going to show you that process. So, I think in, I'm thinking red in the bottom and blue on the top. I'm going to move this over to a different area and we can just get started on the painting. Now, here we have it. Uh, I just covered it in white acrylic paint just to help the colors pop out. So that's, that's the red acrylic I'm going to use. And here's the blue acrylic. And I'm just going to use it straight out of the tub. Little, little, very little water on the brush. Don't mix it too much and just apply it all over like this. Uh, just just try and make sure you get in into the the nooks and the crannies of it all I and mean, it's basically just this you just paint it on full on like that that's it that's all you have to do it uh it does use some paint but it's not it's not a hell of a lot of paint and uh yeah so i'm just as you can see, I'm just, just trying to keep it on the top layer of the containers. I don't want to drop it down below. And try and get it right into the to the little bits of edges because you don't want any white showing out. That's the, the difficulty. The reason I painted it white was because the gray was just muting the color a bit too much for what I wanted. So I thought I would have probably had to give it too many coats on the gray. So I just gave it a quick, quick once over with the acrylic white. And then this is the side of it. And again, it's just the same thing. Just, just 
Get it on. You don't want to put it on too thick because you don't want the uh, paint to be sitting on it where you can see the drips of paint. Uh, so nice tin layers and just just get it right into the bits and pieces. Doing the whole window, and I'm gonna paint the bit I used to cover the window so it'll be all the same color. And now the back, just exactly the same thing. Just layer it on the paint there. Now, obviously, I have this video sped up, so it's not going on as quick and easy as it looks on the video, but it did take me time to do it. But you're essentially just slapdashing the paint on there and just making sure you're covering every single piece of white as best you can. And again, on this side, just same thing again. Get it. Make sure you get in around the ledges of the window, the edges of the window, and just keep that white covered. Uh, exactly the same here with the red. Straight out of the tube, and little tiny bit of water on the brush, but just just not much because if you put too much water on it the paint will just run down it won't sit on it properly so you, you want to keep it a nice consistency and just get it on there and as you can see it's it's you know covering up these little white into each corner and into each edge um, that was probably the longest part of this just to make sure that every little white piece was covered probably wouldn't have been a problem had I left it gray but like I said, I wanted the color to come out a little bit more, so that's why I painted it white. So, okay, this is it painted now. It's been painted three times. It looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to darken it up a little bit. So you want a little tiny bit of paint on this. Dry paint, dry brush. So dip it in the paint and then wipe any excess off on a piece of tissue or something. Just get it off. You want very little on it and then just straight across. You'll see this. And just brush it on. Brush it on. Now, I mix this color with just the same red I was using and a tiny like a pinhead amount of black paint so you want it just slightly darker you don't want it too dark and this is just to kind of age up the containers give them a little bit of wear to them and you just brush it back and forth across the entire container Now I know it's hard to tell on. So here it is. It's all uh, here it is all done. Now it's looking pretty good. So that's that's after I gave it the wash. After I gave it this dry brushing, I should say. Sorry, not a wash. Um, I you know added the kind of orangey, rusty bits to the edges. Didn't come out so well on the red. Because it was too close to the actual color but it looks good in the blue um, obviously that's the back side of it now the front side of it i have this up there oh because of the open gap oh i will try figure out something else for that but uh, that's it's kind of okay for now and then I have them inside it. So yeah, look, it looks pretty good.
Um, as I've shown you before, this thing can be moved over. You've probably seen it when I was painting it. It can be changed direction. But it works well. Let me get a, let me get a figure here for it. So that's a Marvel or a Hasbro Indiana Jones. You know, uh, it looks good. Um, I think I'm actually so happy with it. I'm considering buying a couple of these on, on the internet. These LOL surprise containers um, on the internet. And if I can get them with a good shipping price, because they're quite big. So the shipping price would be the problem in my country. Um, but like if you're in the US or whatever, they don't sell for a lot of money. And I look, they make great diorama pieces. So yeah, look. Let me know what you think in the comments section. But I'm very happy with it. Oh, there you have it. That's how I did it. So this is, you can see here, that opened up. So it looks pretty good. You can hold it in different ways. And display it different ways. You can display it upside down. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope it gave you some inspiration. Maybe get you to do something yourself. That's the first time I've kind of done a proper diorama piece. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys next time.